Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a first impression and wear test of the new LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. So it looks like this. So it has claims of being long wearing, mattifying, just a ton of claims. So if you want to see if those are true, then just keep on watching. So the bottle is frosted and it has like a matte top. I actually really like this packaging. I think it's so cute and so sleek. It does come with a one fluid ounce, so that is awesome. And it retails for $9. So it's very affordable. I think the packaging is actually really cute for a drugstore foundation. And it also does come with a pump, so that's awesome. I'm very excited to test this out. And pretty much the claims are it is a lightweight, long-wearing, formula. It's medium to full coverage and it provides complete natural looking coverage and evens the skin tone. I got the shade natural because I had to actually look at other people's videos just to see what shades they were using. I was actually going to get like two shades lighter than this but I'm really glad I didn't because this looks really light. For my primers today I'm just going to use like my regular primers just because we really only want to focus on the foundation and see how it wears with all of my like regular holy grail products instead of using new ones. So of course I'm using the Mario Badescu spray and this is the green one and then over that I'm going to use the Benefit Professional. This just is going to blur out my skin, fill in those um, pores and just, you know, prep the skin. <laughs> So it's a little runny. Um, it's not like really liquidy, but as you can see, it definitely is running down my hand. So that can be a good thing, a bad thing, um, just to let you guys know. The scent, it does have a scent. Kind of smells like chemicals, but it's not really overpowering, so I don't think it's going to be that bad. So let's just do one half. I know that kind of looks like a lot. Ugh. Alright, so let's do this half with my black beauty blender. So right off the bat, I didn't really smell anything as I was applying it, so I think it's just like if you go up and sniff it with your nose, like a large amount of it. But I actually really do like this so far. It blended out really nicely and really easily. Um, it is a matte finish right now. It's not like really drying matte. It's more of like a comfortable, it's very lightweight type of matte feeling. Um, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Honestly, it feels like I have nothing on my skin, which that's amazing. And it is full coverage, as you can see. I have the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. It looks like this. And then I also have this Tarte one. And then I also have the Morphe M439. So this is like a bigger blender. This one's a little bit smaller. And then this one is like a tapered effect. Um, let's try the Morphe one, just because I feel like most people will probably have something like this in their collection. Let me shove these back in there. Look at my, my container. <laughs> That's when you know you got a problem. And then go in with this Morphe, again, M439. Just buff this into the skin. I think I do like the sponge side just a little bit better. It was really easy to blend out with the brush. As you can see, it took me just a few seconds. But with this foundation, it did leave like little strokes. And I feel like it's not like sinking into my skin as nicely than on the sponge side. Um, there is some like missing parts like missing foundation parts so I don't know that's really weird but I'm just gonna go over it with my sponge just to 
make it look a little bit more even. That's really weird. You can build this up if you want to, and it feels like it is drying down. Right now, it looks really airbrushed, really nice. I'm actually really enjoying this foundation. So I'm just going to go finish the rest of my makeup really quickly, and then I will catch back in with you guys before we start this wear test. She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly I only love my bed and my mom, I'm sorry 50 dub, I hit that boy smooth Body harder than a seller I don't mean to be rude But I look so damn good Oh yeah, ain't got time Miss me with that one, she ain't with me I'm sorry, I know you're tired, I'm tired I'm just calling you, girl, and it's not a time Oh my God, what is this? What you want in my business? Baby, I insist Just don't do this for whatever happens to you Alright guys, so I am back and it is currently 12.48, so let's just round to like 1 o'clock. And this is the completed makeup look, so I just did something really simple with a bold lip. So right now, honestly, I think the foundation looks really good. It makes my skin look really airbrushed, really smooth soft looking everything applied really nicely there was no like trouble with anything um so yeah it is a matte foundation so just keep that in mind if you are more on the drier side i'm not sure if you would like this one it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin i honestly can't even feel anything right now so that's a major plus for me and i really like it the finish is really pretty i think it makes my skin look really just really gorgeous right now but i guess we'll see in a couple hours if that's my same opinions. So I am going to do a wear test of this foundation just because I want to see how well it wears throughout the day. If it lasts only a certain amount of hours or it lasts a really long time. You know what I mean? Get the whole feel for the foundation. So yeah, I will catch you guys in a couple hours. Hi love, so I am back. It is currently, let me see, 9.45. I would show you on my phone, but it's dead. So I've had this foundation on for 8 hours. Oh, actually almost nine hours. It broke up around my nose a lot and around my chin. I do look a little bit oily. I haven't blotted. I haven't powdered nothing all day. So it's not the best foundation I've tried, but it's not like the worst. So just in my opinion, there's better foundations out there right now compared to this. But let me zoom you guys in so you guys can actually get like the full effect of the foundation. So I'm not sure if you can see, but just right here around my chin. Don't mind my lip, okay? I changed it and then I ate, so you know how it goes, okay? But around my chin right here, it's all broken up. And definitely like right around my nose. It's so bad. I don't think I've had a foundation look this bad in a while, honestly. So I'm just really not impressed. I've definitely had better foundations for a cheaper price, so 
I mean, it's an alright foundation. I feel like if you didn't have oily skin, it would definitely hold up on you a little bit better because I do have a few oils poking through just in my T-zone. That was pretty much the only problem. Everything is still, like, coming through my bronzer, my highlight. Nothing else is really ruined or looks kind of wonky. So, yeah, that is my first impression and wear test of the new LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and let me know down below what foundations you want me to do a first impression and wear test on because I'm thinking of doing a series on my channel of like doing just a whole foundation series and then like battle of foundations to ultimately find like the best foundation maybe right? Just a thought. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, if you're not subscribed already, be for... Be for... Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would appreciate it so much. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.